Hello everybody and welcome back to Random Redstone. Now in this video we're going to be doing something which is very useful for people who like to have really like secret bases, really really cool like high tech kind of things. As this one is something which took me absolute ages to work out how to do, seriously. Which is a water and lava sensor. It is incredibly cool. It senses both lava and water and no matter what happens it is Stupidly good. Has an alarm built into it, which means if a water, it detects water or lava, it automatically sets for an alarm to let you know that there is water or lava. At the exact same time, you can actually link it to a door, which means that the, if it detects water or lava, it automatically closes the door, which is incredibly awesome. So, obviously we have this hit here. As we can see, there is there is two note blocks there, and there is a door there. Just make sure that I've got the sound up. Now go put that there, so I should be able to hear, and actually no, I'll put it up a bit more, because then that way we can actually hear it properly. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we've got, we're going to have this mechanism here, it is at the moment not on, for the reason being is there is no water or lava to, to be worried about. But literally just put the water there, and then as you'll see, it automatically sets off for these, and actually sets off an alarm. At the exact same time, if you come down here, it also closed the door, just because it didn't register that there's water there. You remove the water, automatically sets everything back up, back to normal. So the door's open, alarm goes off. Same for lava, it literally just places the lava down, it registers the lava, automatically closes the door, and everything. And yeah, that goes off. And then you pick up the lava again. And everything goes back to normal. This is a great system if you're having something like an underground base or like an underwater base, as you never want to be like fully under attack by water or lava. As to be honest, your enemies are going to track you some way. And this is a really good, like nifty system because if you want to, you don't have to have it this kind of way. You can have it so it goes like, like like that, and then you have it on the side of your corridor, so it's literally like that. Because then, as soon as you're like blocks update obviously down here would have to be kind of a horrible block but yeah as soon as the blocks update then automatically gets turned on or off so yeah let's see how this thing works I think for my inventory so yeah pretty much first things here straight away this bit here is actually a block update it checks for up block updates but above mainly caused by water and lava and pretty much the whole point of it kind of the system is it checks if there's water or lava there if not does nothing so it is as simple as that. So, pretty much, if I just grab, pretty much, it uh, checks for block updates, and when a water goes down, it does automatically do an update, but when I jump up and down in the chamber, it does nothing, so don't need to worry about that. So, pretty much, the whole point this bit of the system is just to check for updates. So, yeah, let's see how it's done. So, it's got a sticky piston here, and then goes two slime blocks there, two slime blocks there, two there, and then a redstone block there. That is 100% the system for checking. That is literally just the checking system. 100% done. Straight away. It's as simple as that, really. Then it goes to this bit here as well. So that one is linked, but you know, that's not part of the checking system. It's just part of the powering system. So that block goes actually to there. So when it gets pushed forward, it activates this repeater, which powers this block, which then powers this piston, making it go out and actually pushing the, the block into the relevant place. But as this goes out and back in, it's really fast, the uh, piston only has time to either drag the block kind of back or drag it like forward. So it only can do one at a time, meaning that if it's over here, when it's pretty much not doing anything, there is powering and it going to this block here, which has my, like, my normal kind of clock mechanism, which goes straight into this alarm, which is incredibly simple. I don't really need to give that up, I've been done a the rest of the videos with it. The other side, like when the block, I'll do it manually so you can see it, when that block goes here, it powers this system, which then goes to your door. So if I put that block, that block back there, literally the whole bit here is you can have anything come off here. It does not have to go to the door. It can literally just go any direction, pretty much, after the from there. And it can have it going to a door. You can, you can have it going to something like a piston above, like that closes like the mechanism or or something like that. It is. Pretty much anything you can do really with that. I'm not. I'm pretty much just going over the doors a tiny bit. It's not really the point of this episode, but just in case you wanted to know, it's just redstone up there, block there, two pistons there, with the, with the blocks there. Simple as that, really. So yeah, this is incredibly awesome for everybody who wants an underground base or wants a base in a lava kind of area. Because then, if someone is trying to mine into your base 
and you've got tons of these things, then, yeah, they're not going to be able to get undetected, because it will sense that the block has been destroyed by the lava going down into it, and it will automatically notify you by the alarm going off and these doors closing, which means, pretty much, these could be, like, your main doors in the base, and it automatically closes, like, just in case of an alarm kind of thing. So, yeah, incredibly useful design if you're having any form of base. I honestly absolutely love it. I'm going to definitely going to start putting this thing into some of my bases. So, yeah, until next time, bye!